Oh, hello and welcome. My name is President Taya. I'm the president of the beautiful country of Mendu, a country which, as we know, has in recent years seen rather disastrous humanitarian as well as security problems plaguing its people and holding back the natural riches, the insightful culture, the learned people of Mendu. For many decades, um, our ancestors and ourselves has, have tried to resolve our differences through not the, uh, the, the, the power of the word, but through the word and the power of the sword. And so it is with great pleasure to announce that in uh, recent weeks um, we have come to see the signing of the peace accords. Uh, Steve Corne, my old rival and myself, President Tai, on behalf of my own people, have signed the peace accord, which has brought to an end um, civil strife, civil war, and uh, the large displacement of human beings. We thereby have opened up a new chapter in the history of Mandu, uh, a history which will be transformed from the voice of the barrel and the gun to the voice of parliamentary debate and the voting of polling booths, as we have recently seen in both uh, countries like Australia as well as Germany. We really hope that we can set aside our differences further, and we are thereby welcome wholeheartedly the presence of the international community, which has now indicated its willingness to help us in providing support for the peace process. And we are extremely pleased to welcome anyone, whether they are the peacekeepers, whether they political wings of the UN Secretary General, or whether these are, of course, um, NGOs and various other organizations, into Mandu. We were ready to collaborate and work with you alongside you to bring relief and to bring an end to the humanitarian catastrophe that has uh, taken my country hostage for so long. We are looking forward to bringing an end to the resettlement, uh, sorry, bringing an end to the refugee and displacement crisis by resettling what needs to be resettled, resettled as like a third of the entire population. By the way, I should have mentioned that if you were ever wondering as to why my accent sounds like as if it's from everywhere, but in particular with maybe a slight of a British accent, it is explained very easily because I undertook my undergraduate studies uh, in politics, philosophy and economics at the University of Oxford, uh, Jesus College um, in the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland, and somehow got stuck in this accent and these type of ghastly glasses, which my people admire, but uh, I find are rather pathetic. In any case, we are looking forward to uh, working alongside you. Uh, we are equally reaching out our hands, our hands of peace, to um, all those forces who have not signed the peace accord yet. We know in particular the H&M has refused to do so, and we would like to extend the invitation once again for H&M and Dr. Mabite, who, by the way, took his PhD in Cambridge, so we don't necessarily see eye to eye on so many levels. We reach out our hands for them to sign the peace accords. At the same time, should they not prove to be uh, willing to resolve and to bring an end to, to conflict, then of course we are extremely pleased to see that UNFORM has been given a mandate to go after H&M and our forces are all too ready to work alongside uh, UNFORM to accomplish this. Uh, it's of course with uh, great interest that we have observed how UN peacekeeping forces in recent uh, months have engaged with the M23 in the Democratic Republic of the Congo. And, uh, in this way, I think H&M um, is being encouraged to, to sign the agreement and to put an end to conflict and help, help uh, come on board in the efforts of building Mendu as the beacon of democracy of Africa. Welcome to Mandu. We are holding you up with open arms, open hands, and we are welcoming you with our beautiful art, with our learned population. We will put flowers around your neck. Chinkwee.